here we see the brachial artery in a transverse view now in a longitudinal view and we see a nice laminar flow in the artery the artery is a few centimeter above the IFB anastomosis now we look with our top with uh, pulse wave doppler and we see um, the doppler spectrum um, which is here characterized by a biphasic flow this is normal that there is a biphasic flow in the brachial artery just prior to the AV anastomosis and here we measure the resistive index we have here a value of 0.78 which is fairly high. Normally we would expect at this point uh, uh, an RI around 0.6 or lower. And now we will measure the volume flow in the artery. and we use for this me measurement the time averaged mean velocity which we mark here and then we will measure the diameter of the artery and then our software will calculate the volume flow which is here 360 milliliters per minute which is too low a month before this ultrasound, the access flow in this fistula was nearly three times as, as high as this value, around one liter per minute. Then we go to the AV anastomosis, which is nicely patent. There was no turbulence uh, that we could see. And here we have the cephalic vein, where we don't see turbulent flow. The vein is superficial, there is no sign of stenosis at this level. And we follow the course of the vein up in the direction of the head. There was a small branch of collateral vein, there a bigger collateral vein. Now we are in the area of the shoulder and here at the junction of the deep venous system we see turbulent flow indicative of a significant stenosis. A bit higher it's okay. This is the junction with the, cephal with the subclavian vein and there again we see turbulent flow aliasing and in pulse wave doppler we see high flow velocities. So here we have two signs of stenosis which is turbulent flow and aliasing on the one hand and the second hand we see high flow velocities. Here we have this zone in a longitudinal view where again we can see that there are high flow velocities based on uh, the color Doppler um, aspect of the blood vessels. Very turbulent flow with tissue vibration. And then here when we compare the flow velocity in the cephalic vein 10 centimeters proximal to this stenotic zone, we see there very low flow velocities.